All right. Scott, thanks again for joining us. The uh, question we'd like to ask you and other speakers that come through this year is, what do you see as one of the most significant barriers uh, to student learning? I think that one thing that uh, 15 years of teaching design classes has taught me is that uh, pedagogy and the uh, content insights of a domain are valuable, but that motivation is even more important. And I think every teacher goes through this trajectory where young teachers want to make sure that they explain all the stuff. Uh, and as one slowly gains wisdom, you realize that what you really need to do is, is motivate students. Mm -hmm. I think if you uh, knew my next question, you might have chosen a different <laughs> one. <laughs> because the next question is, okay, so if time and money were not obstacles, were not you know, important factors, what, what do you think we could do to address this barrier that you've uh, identified? In other words, what can we do to address this motivation barrier of lack of motivation or inadequate motivation? Oh man, I, I mean, I, I think that's the motivation being a topic for both scientific study and for putting time and money into is super important. And I think that when we look at online education, it can seem as if the excitement is we now have the Stanford classroom, the UC San Diego classroom available to the world. That content just got freely available. But really, I think the excitement is. Um, all of the energy around it is self-reinforcing. And so there's more motivation through the, the cohort experience than you have before. Mm -hmm. And what, what kinds of first steps? I mean, if we were to try and address this and, and all these different institutions that are really trying to carry the torch here, what are some of the first steps we can do in addressing the motivation barrier? Well, I think that a lot of the rhetoric around online education right now is looking at retention, that the retention rates seem low, but we have no idea what the motivation of those students is. Some people might just want to look up video seven. Uh, other people may be intending to get a new career. And I both think that we want to do the pull of find out what people say they want to do uh, and make sure that we're creating content and experiences that match that. And also, there are some times where all of us have had the experience of stopping by somewhere for five minutes and then getting sucked into a whole new world. And if we're really good, that's what we can do with our online classes. Oh, great. Thank you. I, I think that this, the motivation issue is really an issue when students don't really see the relevance for what it is we're asking them to do, or the importance of it, or the value to them. And so I agree with you that once they see that, once they, if it's intrinsic, if it's something they care about, then they can jump in and, uh, and swim freely and stay in there for as long as they want. Yeah, it's not just a bit. I mean, there's a. You know, we all have the day in our life that we were most motivated, and how can we create more experiences like that?